Hi everybody, this is Eric, and today I'm going to make a video just showing you guys how to make an AI video. It's basically an eight-step process, and the first step is to download a program called DaVinci Resolve. And so what you can do is go into Google and search for DaVinci Resolve Download, and the first result should be the Blackmagic Design website. So go ahead and download that and get that installed. And once you have that installed, you'll have an icon that looks like this on your desktop right here. But uh, you don't need to open it right now. We'll save it for later. And we'll now go on to step number two, which is to create a script. And so there are several things that you can do to write a script. The first is you can open up a notepad and just simply write it yourself and come up with your own original idea. Or you can even go into ChatGPT to come up with an idea. And so we need about a 10 second video. And so what I'll do is use ChatGPT. And so when you go to openai.com forward slash chat GPT, you can click on start now. And once again, you can write your idea in a notepad or anywhere else that you want. But we're going to use chat GPT just to demonstrate how it works. And I'm going to go in here and say, write me a script for a 10 second video. So chat GPT is thirsty right now. As you can see, they want they want coffee. And so guys, this is a coffee video. So this is our script right here. And so we're going to take that and just go ahead and copy that and we'll paste that back in here. Go Perfect. Okay. So now we're on to step three. We actually need to have someone narrate the video. So there's a great tool called 11 labs that will do this for you. So if I go to 11 labs.io and then you click on this black button right here for go to app, you'll be able to use the tool. But what I'm gonna do is post our new script for our 10 second video right there, and then pick a different voice. So let's try Roger. It's not so important to know everything as to appreciate what we learn. Okay, okay. So now I can click on generate speech. Your perfect cup is closer than you think. And you can see now I can download that on the bottom right here with this little download button. It looks like a little down arrow kind of going into like a little bucket. And then at the top right here, you can see that my MP3 file has downloaded. So now we're done with that step. Uh, so now it's time for step number four, which is to generate AI videos. So the tool that I like to use is called Hi Luo. Now this is a Chinese company that offers really good quality AI videos. So our script, once again, is your perfect cup is closer than you think. So let's think about that for a quick second. A cup being closer than you think. I have an idea. So a lady goes to open up a cupboard looking for a coffee cup, but there's a coffee cup on top of her head already. The cup is literally closer than you think. This is this is so clever, you guys. Let me actually make it happen. So, a woman in her thirties in a turquoise skirt opens up her kitchen cabinet looking for a coffee cup, but doesn't realize that there is a coffee cup sitting on her head already. So we're gonna click the create button now, and it usually takes Hi Luo about five to ten minutes to create each request that you give them. All right, so there you go. Step four, generate AI videos. For us, we had to download 10 videos to get what we needed to do this 10 second video. And so now we're done with step four, which hopefully will be the longest step. Now on to step five, we need to generate some background music. So this is now gonna be some kind of coffee commercial. So we need some kind of coffee sounding music. So let's go back in Chrome. Now there are two tools I like to use to create AI music. The first is here called suno.com. And you can come over here on the left and click on create. So you can see over here on the right, a list of other songs that I've created. And on the left here, we're gonna go and create our song. So let's put some lyrics in. What I think would be appropriate is probably just to take the lyrics that we got here out of ChatGPT, which were not lyrics, but a slogan, and put it in here. So now we're describing the style of music. So we want jingle, we want folk, we want woman singer, we want gentle, we want 10 seconds, we want short, we want acoustic guitar, brief, soft, and relaxing. And we're going to call this the coffee jingle. And now that we've done that, let's click on create. And over here on the right at the bottom, you'll see there are going to be two versions of this song that are created. And I can listen to both of them, and they generate pretty quickly, usually in under a minute. And I can listen to them both and see which one that I like better. And we'll be able to listen to them together as well. So let me turn my volume up here. 
and they're already ready. So let's listen. So we're going to go with the 34 second one. And what I'm going to do is trim the ending off. So to download that, you just go to the right here where these three dots are, click on it, and then go to download. And you'll have an option of MP3, wave audio, or a video. So if there are lyrics on it, it will put the lyrics in the video. Sometimes it's not so good, but that's an option as well for videos. So now that we have done that, we're done with that step, which is getting background music. So next we need to do step six, which is editing everything together. So this is the exciting part. Now remember earlier when I asked you guys in step one to download DaVinci Resolve, now is the time to open it. So go ahead and double click on the icon for DaVinci Resolve and click on this button right here for an untitled project. And the first thing that I want you to do when you're on this very first screen is go up to the top here in this menu and click on workspace and then go to this first option which says switch to page and then go to edit. So let's always start in edit mode. Now go ahead and import the video files that you downloaded from Hi Luo, which in my case is in my downloads folder, and also import the mp3 file of the song that we just made as well. So I'm going to select all of these files that I just made together like this. And I'm also going to take my 11 labs file that we did earlier as well. And we're going to import all of that. And then when I say change, just go ahead and do change. And let's start editing the video. So I'm going to start with the music. I'm going to take our coffee jingle and drag it from the left here down to the right. And when you drag these files right here, make sure that you put them in the left here in this box right over here. So go ahead and drag them in. And then we're going to take our mp3 file here for the coffee jingle and drag that into the timeline going from the left into the right like that. So once you do that, it's now time to take this narration. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and pop that and put that on a track below. Now there is one thing to talk about, which is in the song that we have, the woman is singing the tagline, but in our 11 labs thing here he's all he's basically just saying it and so i'm not sure if i should even have the 11 labs thing anymore your perfect cup is closer than you think i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep them both during the fade out at the end when i'm fading it out i'll have him say that so this is 10 seconds right here so let's trim it with the razor blade tool i'm gonna click on that and it will turn red and then come to the timeline and right before 10 seconds, I'm gonna click. And then go to the right here, click on this and press delete because I don't want that anymore. And so now we have a 10 second long clip. And the next thing I'm gonna do is come down to our audio file and at the top right of it here, you'll see this little white thing. If you hover your mouse right over that white thing, you'll see these two little arrows on the left and the right. If you click on this and then drag it to the left, that will actually let you fade out. And so that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm going to have the last like five or six seconds just be a fade out. At the end here is where I'm going to have the 11 labs voice be. So she's going to sing it first and then the 11 labs guy is going to say it. So let's listen now and hear how this sounds. The perfect cup is closer than you think. Your perfect cup is closer than you think. Okay, it's close. It's close. I think what I need to do is to trim off just a little bit of the beginning so that it immediately starts with her singing and then have more of the guitar at the end so that there's a little bit of distance between when she says it and when he says it. That way it's not so jarring. Now I'm going to press Control S and just save the project and we're going to call it Coffee Jingle. Click Save. Okay, now it's time to start importing video now that we've got our audio done. So I think we're ready to export our video. Now we're done with it, and I'm pretty happy with the edit job that we've done. So what I'm going to do is now click at the top again on Workspace, switch to Page, and I'm going to go to Deliver. And that does exactly what you think it does. So on the top left here, let's give it a file name. Let's call it Coffee Jingle. And then under Location, I'm going to click Browse, and I'm going to choose my Downloads folder, because that's where I like to keep my videos, and I'll click Save. And we've got this option here, make sure Export Video is selected under Video. And you can do any format that you want. I think MP4 is quite good, with the codec of H.264, which is the default. 
With resolution, it's typically good to do the maximum resolution that you can, but sometimes maybe you only want to do HD to make it upload faster or something like that, or maybe you just don't need it to be the most high quality 4K footage. So in this case, I'm going to select the 1920 by 1080 option, and I'm going to keep the default frame rate of 25, which is what was given to me when we first opened it and we clicked on that change button. And basically we're ready to go now. Make sure audio is checked right here. Uh, so let's click on add to render queue now. And then finally, now that we've done that and it's over here on the right now, we can just click this button down here that says render all. Now you'll see it go through the video as it creates it and it's already done. So we can now X out of DaVinci, go into our downloads folder and here's our downloaded video. The perfect cup is closer than you think Your perfect cup is closer than you think and There we go, that's perfect. So now we need to launch the video. And so I'll show you guys that process now. I like to upload my stuff onto YouTube. So I go online, I go to youtube.com. And I'm logged into my account and I'm on desktop right now. So at the top right, I can click on this button right here that looks like a camera with a plus on it that says create and then upload a video. Select files and then click the video that we just created. Now let's give it a name. We're going to call this coffee jingle and try to think of something that maybe people might be interested. You know, what? I'm going to call it coffee AI jingle with AI in the middle. That's probably the shortest way that I can do it. And maybe people will be interested to hear coffee AI jingle. This is a coffee jingle that I created for a tutorial video on how to make AI videos. And from here, we can just let it auto generate a thumbnail. I like this one right here of the lady with the coffee cup on her head. I think that's fun. We're going to say, no, it's not made for kids. And then I'm going to click on this button here. It's a show more. And I'm going to say yes to altered content because this does have AI stuff in it. And then I'm going to come down here to this thing that says tags. I'm going to say coffee jingle and try to put in things that you think people will search for coffee jingle ai suno coffee jingle and yeah try to put at least maybe 10 tags in there to try to give it a chance for the algorithm to pick it up so i'll just add a few more in here i'll put my own name as a tag in there in case somebody thinks of that and there we go that should be enough and then we'll change the category here. I'll make sure that the category here stays as music. I think that's the best one right here for the category. And then we'll click on next. No copyright issues found. Very good. And let's go ahead and make this public. And let's click on publish. Now you'll see this video link right here. I think it's really helpful to publish stuff on Reddit. So you can find a subreddit that is maybe like an AI video subreddit or an AI song subreddit or a Suno subreddit or something that has to do with AI music or AI video, those are great places to share your videos. Just upload them there on your Reddit account, find those subreddits, and go ahead and post them. I'll show you a couple examples here. I like to go to old Reddit. But you can do like forward slash r forward slash AI video. So here's a place where people, there's 125,000 people in there that are sharing AI videos. So this would be a good place to start. And there's a lot of them that are like this. In fact, there's even a search option uh, inside Reddit for you to be able to find them right here on the top right of most search Reddits. So we're gonna uncheck the NSFW stuff and let's say AI video and click enter. So we've got AI video, AI art, video enhance AI and we can click on this and see even more of them. But each of these different places have, diff have different numbers in them and they have different rules. And so you might wanna read the rules for each of these and make sure that you're not publishing your stuff in a place where people don't wanna see it or else you'll get you know raised pretty hard, which I don't wanna see happen. But yeah, be careful and read these community guidelines and what the different rules are for each of these subreddits when you're promoting your stuff. That's really the secret to the final step of this video, which is number eight, marketing basics. Putting those tags into YouTube, like we just said, and then figuring out places on Facebook or on different communities or TikTok, Instagram, different places where you can publish your stuff and connecting them with the right people, with the right groups and giving the right description to it, using the right thumbnails. Thumbnails are very important. There's a lot of things that you can do, but that's really just the basics for you guys. So I wanna keep this really simple, but that's really the process 
And now that our video is up on YouTube, let's go ahead and take a look at it. The perfect cup I'll give it a thumbs up. Closer than you think. Your perfect cup is closer than you think. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope this has been helpful for you guys to learn a little bit more about how to make an AI video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. I appreciate you watching this, and I'll see you in the next one.